What is our place in this ancient world? Many have long seeked an answer to this question. How do we compare to the universe? Who are we and where are we going? Is there any purpose to all of this? To become acquainted with the conditions in which we find ourselves. Think of our earth compared to you. Vast expanses of forest, desert, and mountains that have existed over millions of years. And yet our Earth is just a fragment of star stuff suspended in light, dwarfed by a colossal sun, which is but one average star in a great galaxy, a galaxy among millions of galaxies, all placed within a boundless, infinite, eternal universe, extending indefinitely through space and time. With this in mind, do we lack hope, purpose, intention? No. As much as the great expanses of space dwarf us in size and time, we are colossal in directed attention and changing, shifting action. We are the children of the stars, and every atom in our body mirrors them. You're not small and weak. You are an imploding, exploding galaxy compressed into 80 years, composed of millions of frozen light points, oscillating at tremendous speeds and bound into a coherent form which you command. This great world has counted up from 1 to 1 to 2 to 3 to 5 to 8 and to 13, while you have counted down from 13 to 1 in your scale. And in doing so, you have not become inconsequential, but instead focused to tremendous power, like a ray of sunlight focused through a lens. You are loved by the great void of space and the bright stars which pierce it. And you are the still spaces that punctuate every motion. You reflect all that will be, has been, and is. Even upon your death, the living matter within you will become helium-like and rush into the great space ocean to be touched by the sun. You will always be and have always been, and your purpose is to express what you are to the world. Just as your current form has emanated from the universe's idea of what it will be, just as the stars who died to make you are expressing themselves through every atom of your body, you likewise are mirroring their luminous electric flame to all who inhabit this planet. And in doing so, you are looking out of this body made of frozen explosions of electricity, even as your voided, empty outside looks in through your eyes. The fiery rings of light, which are you, and the emptiness inside of you, is and will be forever as the stars kill themselves to look out through your eyes, be a part of you, and hang a filament of their light threads in the corner of your eye. This video is dedicated to someone very special to me, and to her I say, child of the stars, never let the emptiness fill you with fear, but instead, with its icy zero, light up within your heart a golden sun.